Okay, this is number five, and they give us some words up here, and they give us a graph, and I'm going to jump down and say, okay, what am I actually looking for in this? What is the equation of the linear function? So I've got to write an equation here, and then it says, it gives me another question, what is the slope and what does it represent? Okay, so I've got a couple of things. One, I need to do a linear function. That's just the equation of a line. So for this part, I just need to look at the graph. I don't even need to worry about the lines. I know that the equation of a line y equals mx plus b, you've heard that a thousand times. m happens to be the slope and b is where it crosses the y axis. So the b is really easy, it's where it crosses the y, that's right here, it crosses right there at 5, that's b. I just plug it in there. And the y and the x stay in my line, like that, and now I have to do the slope. slope is rise over run. If it's going like this, that's uphill and makes it positive. If it goes like that, that's downhill and it makes it negative. So this is negative because it's going downhill. So that's negative. And I need to do rise over run. So I need to find a couple of points where it's actually crossing my line. Right here and right there. It went down one over one, two, three, four. So rise over run is one over four. There's my fraction, oops, sorry, 1 over 4, there's my fraction. It won't reduce anymore, so I'm just done. There it is, 1 fourth. That's this part here. Then it says, what is the slope? Well, we just found the slope. It's slope is negative 1 over 4. There it is, that's what it asked me here. And what does it represent? So now let's go back over here and look at what we're talking about. Remember that slope is rise over run. This is actually really easy. Rise is going this way. That's the gallons of paint. That's the rise, gallons of paint, right there, gallons of paint. Run is this part right here, area painted. And this line right here is really easy. It's just, you say, per like miles per hour, feet per second, right? Um, that's what this line right here, we just say per there. So this is the gallons of paint per area painted. So the gallons per area. Or we could use the square feet here for the area, and we could say gallons per square feet which was this part right here. So again, I'm just looking at rise over run for this part.